out. It looks like a kid just pooped on my pants. <laughs> I'm not very chatty at 7 a.m. Cheers. We're just gonna jump into the video today. Yes, we it are. It is only 7.30. And we didn't mean to use the same foundation as it's each just, other. We love it. It's honestly, it's honestly just really good. I'm gonna try and go a little more light-handed today. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how red my face was? <laughs> I have to compensate for this hairstyle. <laughs> and I was like, are people gonna take us seriously? I look like a two-year-old. My hair looks like a frizzy two-year-old. Her hair, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a hard time doing different things and I've honestly wondered that as we've done makeup videos. I'm like, I literally use the same lipstick in every single and video. And that's how most people are at home. That's, and see that's- Most people have like one or two lipsticks. And that's why I don't, I haven't been like, oh, I need to go out and like do something different or I need to like, create these cool makeup looks, but that's really not like us. Like we don't do that crazy stuff. We just have what we have and we just do what we do with it. Yeah. And I feel like all of our makeup looks always look so different, but we use the same products. Yeah. I it mean, honestly is just how heavy handed you are sometimes. Days that I'm especially tired and I know my under eyes are very, very, very tired. I use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Spray on my sponge. That way it just gives just a little extra glow. Oh, our eyes are the hardest part about our faces. It is. And I was Yeah, it's our, one of our best features, like our eye color. Yeah, we inherited it from our dad's side. <laughs> um, my arm, I probably have more wrinkles under my eyes than my mom does. Yeah, and mom, her whole life, she uses a bar of soap for her face and like a lotion. Like she's never used, like, I'm always like, oh, the eye cream and the serums and all that. But mom, she doesn't. Her she skin naturally... looks the best I've ever seen. Yeah. But some people need those extra steps. Our like eyes us. need the extra steps. <laughs> I used just this little brush to go in and put that same concealer on my eyelid to prime my eyes for um, eyeshadow. And then I used a beauty blender just to smooth it out like this. And we were talking about our under eye and how it's kind of difficult with our fine lines and wrinkles. And I know that the older you get, the harder this area is. And so after I blend out my concealer everywhere, there's really not a whole lot left on my um, sponge. So I look upward and I just go back and forth along those fine lines. And even already I can see the foundation settling in those areas. And so right before I set my under eye with powder, I'll go through and just pat it back and forth like this to make sure there is zero extra in those fine lines like that. And I like using this powder because it adds coverage versus like using a translucent powder. And sometimes I like a translucent powder under my eye depending on what I'm wanting it to look like. And I pounce it, I don't smear it. Yep. And since I've been like looking up at the sky and like lifting my eyebrows before I set my face, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and make sure that I pat out those wrinkles. <laughs> it's cause I know the makeup will sit in there. Well, and even if you don't have wrinkles, just by you like creasing your face creates those wrinkles. Yeah, it that, creases the makeup. That's why it's important when you set your face to not like squint your eyes or smile and just to like really hold still so your face isn't even. Can you already see? So I forgot to set my eyelid. This is exactly why you set them because it the makeup will crease in there. And so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. You can see it comes out just perfectly. And then I'm gonna set my eyelid with the powder and it won't do that. It won't crease if I set it like this. And your eyeshadow is just gonna go on really, so really well. I'm like looking at her, I'm like, okay, what next? Bronzer? Bronzer. Okay. I'm going to try a different bronzer today. This came in our Makeup by Mario uh, masterclass bag. It's from Cargo. You can get it at Ulta. I can already tell the color looks good, but it's not as smooth as what Bonnie's using, which we use in like every video and it's like broken and cracked. And I like the Hula bronzer and I've used that for years now, but I think I just like this one just a little better because it's less orange. Maybe I just wasn't able to blend the Hula as much. 
it's a great, I can tell it's a great formula, but it, I, I don't feel like I ever really got compliments using it, but when I, I know I get co more compliments on my makeup when I use this. Really? See, and Hoola, and it's, the shade is actually called Hoola, so I shouldn't call it Hoola bronzer, but, um, the Benefit bronzer, it, um, they just came out with new shades in it, mm. so I kind of want to try them just to see. BRB, we're going to Ulta. <laughs> Sure, it's like, Ellie, we're, we're, we, you have to be careful. The month is ending and our budget. And I'm like, yeah, the budget flew out the window two weeks ago. <laughs> if I'm going to blow past it, I'm going to blow past it. Okay. I don't slowly go through go a stop Go big or go sign. home. <laughs> I plow through it. <laughs> Friends. I'm sorry. All I can concentrate on is my frizzy halo. <laughs> it's so bad. But I don't mind it. I kind of like it. Our before and afters are going to be great. Yeah. But our hair, it's like wonderful. <laughs> See, it's like I'm sitting here looking at my makeup and I'm just wondering what I need to do with it before I move on. Because if you don't like it before you move don't on move to on. another step, it, you're, it's kind of hard to fix or know what to fix. I wanted to zoom back in and show you guys what my eyelids look like after I took my sweet time bronzing my face and my neck. Like I really took my time and blended out my face and I closed my eyes and looked real close in the mirror and there is zero creasing on my eyelids. And so I just wanted to show you that is why you always set your eyelid with powder because it really holds everything in place and it did its job. So we did bronzer, now what? Eyebrows mm. or blush. Let's do blush or no. Let's do, let's do eyebrows. Eyebrow. <laughs> you win, you're older. <laughs> you have the eyebrow stuff in your hand. Just slap it on. <laughs> Stop talking. Oh. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. I like to start my eyebrows lately on the tail, like on the end, because I already have such a full eyebrow in this inner part. And Oftentimes me and a lot of people will overdo it here on the front and that's just a really thick eyebrow with like no tail. So I've been lately trying to really focus on the tail because that's where I need it. Mm -hmm. See, and I need it, pro well, I like it the most going underneath. Like if I have a strong line on the bottom, I can like deal with anything else on it. But you're right, I feel like everyone's issue is going too heavy handed on the inner corner, me included. I I used to use the regular Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel, but I have to use the colored one because it you could see like a white cast or like I like having it. Yeah. I like having it tinted. It's been years since I used a white one. I've been using the Give Me Brow from Bene Benefit. Oh my! Look what just popped out. It looks like a kid just pooped on my pants. <gasps> <laughs> a huge <laughs> drop of that. That's insane. Well, that's never happened before. Wow. Look at that. Just thinking in my head, I had these like big plans to do a big eye, but I think I'm too tired. I know. <laughs> so I think we're going to simplify it quite a bit. That's I'm what I love about doing these videos is honestly, like we're just getting ready and it's mm -hmm. really fun to film. I'm going to go in with my blush and I've been using two blushes lately. I always use a really light nude color. And then I will go in on the top with it with a little more darker color. Today is still a lighter color. It's more coral. And I've been using two brushes. I use a really dense brush for the first uh, base for the first blush that I use. I use a fluffy brush with a very light hand with the second color to go on top of it. Do you know what's funny is what? I literally, in the last video we did, I forgot to put my blush on. And today you forgot? And I literally forgot to put my blush on before I moved on to my eyes. Cause so, your it's because your bronzer looks so good. I just forget sometimes. It's too good. Well, I'm just going to take a little posky and put my blush on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving without you. I'm not waiting. <laughs> Why didn't you remind me? I try not to correct you. <laughs> I don't want to. Did you see what happened with the eyebrows? <laughs> We're doing the eyebrows. Okay. Get your eyebrows on. <laughs> I won't use a highlighter because this is has a lot of like flex in it. I really like it. I found it out from Bonnie, of course. On our game. Did you guys see our game that we played? We'll have that in the description for you guys. That was a fun game. I enjoyed doing that. 
I take my same brush that I set my under eye with to apply my highlighter and I like to go between these two shades I am trying out a new eyeshadow palette today. This is the Milani. Holy pretty. It is very pretty. Look at those shades. I'm super excited to try these out. Earlier I was really um, eager and I, I used the shade Feels in this palette and I used that in my crease. And to be honest, I think that's the only thing I'm gonna do. I might add one more shade, but. Really? Okay. Yeah, I just, it's simple and I like it and that's just what I'll stick with I think today. I'm using a Naked Truth and Sweet Honey as a neutral just all over my eyelids, really focusing on the crease. I'm gonna take my same shade and do my lower lash line, which I don't always do, but I want to today. And then Crazy for Coco and Time to Wine. Ooh la la, how pretty is that? I'm gonna mix that and just go in with my crease. So I'm taking the shade Bang Bang and I'm putting um, just a little bit of setting spray on it before I apply it to my lid. Oh, it's getting low. We need to get more setting spray. And I by know. me, I mean you. Just I kidding. know. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Naked Truth and then I'm gonna set it as well so that it doesn't um, have too much fallout on my lid. That's pretty. <clears throat> I'm excited to look, I'm not gonna look yet. Okay, I'm gonna take the two darker shades, Privacy and Devilish, and just pounce my brush back and forth on them. And I'm just gonna go along the outer part of my eye just to darken just the outer portion. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to go in with Bonnie's um, highlighter palette um, and do what she did. I add a little glow on my upper eyelid, on my brow bone, and then yeah. in the inner corner. Because every time you do that, I'm like, hey, that little step kind of goes a long way. It does. <laughs> it's like, hey, Dawn. Too late. <laughs> oh, believe me, I've ruined the looks by going in and being like, oh, I'm just going to add a little. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going to Target or Costco. I oh, just yeah. need to grab this. Oh, shiz, my whole cart's full. Yeah, exactly. It just happens. Exactly. And it's every time. You never learn your lesson. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and do the same thing and just go just at the arch, just at the arch. And I already did my inner corner, but I really like having that. And when oh, I yeah. see when I see people, um, I'm going heavy handed. <laughs> I you, love this. <laughs> oh wow, she's going for it. When I see people underline their entire oh. eyebrow. Like with highlight, that's a bit much. You can use a lot of product, but just don't place it in crazy spots like that. Yours looks good. This is an eyeliner gel from Marc Jacobs, and it is good. Are you laughing? At no, I'm not. I was think I was trying to like not talk while you were talking. It was so good, I had to go buy it. It is amazing. Now I've talked about that NYX NYX has a nude yeah. inner eyeliner that you can use to brighten up your under eye. But there's something about this color, this bright pink, it's vibrant, it makes you look awake. But it doesn't look too pink. It's amazing. Yeah. You go in in your waterline, it doesn't bug your eye. Look at that, isn't that striking? Well, and it brings the green out in your eyes like crazy. I love it. Oh, is that too much? Like, no. is that crazy? Mm -mm. It kind of feels weird. Let me put some mascara on and I think it'll like feel Calm better. Calm down. Yeah. Totally. So do you have mascara? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. Well, I don't, I'm not used to using it, but when I put a bunch of eyeshadow on um, and this eyeliner in my waterline, I like to put some mascara on. I'm adding some just brown eyeliner on my upper eyelid and I never line my whole lid ever. It's literally just the outer corner. I don't want my mascara too strong, so I'm gonna take a Q-tip while it's still wet. Do people say that? I know. Well, this is... Like I said, I'm not used to You're wearing it. You're funny with things. I know, I'm not used to wearing it, and so I just have to, ooh, like I feel a little wild. You know, that's interesting that you say that because there are some people that like feel funny with like colored lipstick yeah. or like you are more heavy handed in things that you love and are more confident with, uh -huh. and I am not as heavy handed with things. 
Oh, you have my mascara. That's why. I'm sorry. I'm almost I'll done. I'll wait. I'll put my lipstick on while she's finishing her mascara. Um, I don't usually line my lips, but where I want. Yeah. Oh. Looks good. You mascara. love it. You know how highlight is some people's like, oh yeah, baby. Mascara is mine. The Velour Matte Lipsticks from Laura Mercier. I tried for the first time a few weeks ago because I got one in my Makeup by Mario kit. And I actually went and purchased this one. This is the shade Ruthless because I loved the color so much um, of the other one. I wanted to try another color. So I'm just going in with this one. It's like really pink. I love it. And what I love about this is it says it's matte, but it doesn't, it's not hard or like Bonnie hates matte lipstick. So, so it doesn't make it this. feel dry. Uh -uh. Like it's a velvety. It's. It's velour. It's amazing. Oh my. I always, I always go out and buy whatever Ellie is wearing because I just think her shades are so pretty. I think you're really good at picking out oh, shades. Oh, thanks. That is the cutest pink. And today I'm just literally wearing the same lipstick that I always wear, but I just added eyeliner, <laughs> lip liner. And so I feel like it looks different. Oh yeah, it helps. Mm -hmm. You look good. Oh, you look good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for our before and afters. Oh, look at my hair band. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow that I used today. I think it's so pretty. I love it. And this is my makeup look. This is what my eyeshadow turned out like, and I really like it. I feel a little crazy with the like pink eyeliner, but I love it. No, it's amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna top my um, lipstick off with some um, lip gloss because I want it to look more pink and not so dark. Okay, are you done? Mm -hmm. I'm done. She's just touching up and that's like, I think in a very important part of your makeup is when you're finished to really like look in the mirror and this is what Allie Glines always says. She's like, look in the mirror and kind of analyze how you look and just see like, okay, do I need to add a little more of anything? Do I need to like back off on anything? And to be honest, I kind of hate my lip liner. I think I'm gonna take it off and just have the lipstick on. I just can't do the lip liner. Today was fun to sit down and get ready with you guys. It was fun to try a few new makeup products and just hang out and talk together. Totally. All the products that we used today will be in the description below along with our custom clothing line, bollybrand.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.